Welcome back to another Max and Sports YouTube video. Today we're going to be having a look at this 2018 Ford Fiesta Titanium 1 litre EcoBoost 125 brake horsepower. Let's find out if this is the best all rounder super mini by having a look at some of the interior and exterior features and then taking it for a drive. Come along! This generation Fiesta was released in 2017 and the Fiesta model has been on sale in Europe since 1976. The mid-level titanium trim example we have here has smooth, sleek lines with a classy edge, featuring rear parking sensors, diamond cut 16 inch alloy wheels, rear privacy glass and the contrasting black painted roof and door mirrors which were a cost option when new. Halogen projection headlamps with LED daytime running lights, front fog lamps and a chrome strip grille. Now that we've had a look around the exterior features of this titanium, let's have a look inside, see what goodies greet us. I'll give you a clue, it's rather well equipped. We have automatic headlamps with automatic high beam assist, front and rear fog lamps, follow me home, headlamp function, automatic wipers, Lane Keep Assist, Cruise Control with steering wheel controls for the radio volume, Voice Command for the telephone, Large Touchscreen Infotainment System with AM, FM and Digital Radio, Optional Extra CD Player which lives in the glove box. We also have Bluetooth telephone, built-in navigation, air conditioning, the heated seats and heated steering wheel are part of the £300 comfort pack which is well worth it. We have three stages of heating on the seats. Climate control and Ford's signature quick clear windscreen. Below there is a USB socket for connecting to the Apple CarPlay, 12 volt power outlet, 6 speed manual gearbox, the master switch for the start stop function, traction control, control switch and an eco mode. This titanium does have built in navigation however we also have Apple CarPlay which you just connect your phone to this USB port and it comes on automatically. This gives us the option to have Google Maps as our navigation and we can also make phone calls through here, listen to podcasts and play our Spotify. We also have electrically adjustable door mirrors, electrically folding door mirrors and electric front windows. Unfortunately this car is just over three years old and the plastic end on the buttons have broken already which is disappointing and there is an alarming amount of plastic squeak. This is disappointing considering the price tag of the car when new was nearly £20,000 and my Chinese built car of exactly the same age and double the mileage which was nearly half the price new doesn't squeak. Not so great Ford. This car is fitted with the rear parking sensors as well and it shows you on the touch screen display of obstacles around you. In the front of the Fiesta it's rather good with this lovely leather wrapped steering wheel with controls. The seats are soft and comfortable with supporting bolsters and the seat belt is easy to reach. The steering wheel adjusts for reach and rake on this model, which is a useful feature and the columns come with it. Rear passenger space is fairly good with decent headroom and alright leg room. However, due to the MG3's longer wheelbase, there is more room for legs in the MG3. The seats are comfortable with adjustable headrests. The Mark 8 Fiesta is comfortable in the back, however there is no charging point nor is there any air conditioning vents in the back. This means that passengers might find it a little bit frustrating on longer journeys and we've got to make do with 
windy windows. Again, this is a little bit disappointing as this is a titanium model and you would expect better from nearly the top of the tree and considering this car's price tag. To compensate for the windiness of the rear windows, we do have a large cup bottle holder here and a padded armrest. The Market Fiesta gives us a reasonable boot space of 292 litres. This is bigger than a Micra, however it is smaller than a Sendero. A list of other super mini boot sizes can be found appearing here. The 292 litre boot does come with some useful features. There are two pockets here, useful for storing small items so they don't roll about. It is lit by this light here, there's a small hook, top tether points and velcro straps here as well. Perfect for a bottle of wine I imagine. The parcel shelf is also attached to the tailgate so it lowers and raises itself with the boot. We also have LED number plate lamps as well. Powering Mother Macron's Fiesta is Ford's EcoBoost engine, found in one litre size here. It is an inline three cylinder engine which is turbocharged and intercooled, powered by petrol, producing 103 brake horsepower at 6000 rpm and 170 Nm of torque, between 1500 rpm and 4500 rpm, which is quite a lot for a small car. You can also have this engine in 110 brake horsepower form or 140 brake horsepower form. There was also a 1.5 or 1.6 diesel engine available. If sounding like a tractor floats your boat. Because this is a Euro 6 vehicle, it is fitted with stop-start technology, so all you have to do is stop, into neutral, handbrake on and off the clutch, and the engine will switch itself off. The clutch doesn't have too much travel, it's nice and quick to engage, and it gives surprisingly good feedback through it. The brakes are very sharp on this as well, which helps. The Viesta has a fairly conventional super mini suspension setup. We have got McPherson struts independent at the front and a semi independent rear torsion beam with coil springs. This is simply just because it is easy and cheap to manufacture, however, it is a very comfortable ride. This road is known locally for being one of the worst and yet it's soaking up these bumps beautifully and because it's a fiesta it will really reward you on the b road at national speed limit dual carriageway cruising speed the car is very very quiet indeed there's very little noise at all all i can hear is the air conditioning blowing away which is providing me with beautiful ice cold air then the seats are holding me in well and visibility all round is fantastic. I think I could certainly do lots of miles in this car. This 
robust engine, it's a fantastic engine to drive, it's very nippy off the line without being disconcerting or rough, it's just, it's very keen to go. Yet being very smooth and refined and quiet as well, it's really wonderful. This is where I bought my Peugeot partner van that I used to have, this very spot. And it was exactly one year today when I was filming this. There we are. The thing I love about the Fiesta and the thing that mum loves about the Fiesta is it's so versatile it's perfect for just going about the town through villages but also when you get onto the open road it's so much good fun yet it's such a practical comfortable economic car to drive it's really marvelous That's a good sound. It is fairly muted because it's a refined car, but you can get that three cylinder thrum, which is good. Thanks for watching this Macklin Motors YouTube video. I hope you found it beneficial and useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe on the video for more content coming soon. And hopefully you'll be one of the millions driving a Ford Fiesta, which is Britain's most popular model. Thanks for watching and see you soon.